in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Living the Beatitudes Jesus Loving Guidance for Today's World My dear friend, let's talk about something very special today. The Beatitudes. These are words I shared with my disciples long ago, but they hold timeless wisdom for you and for all who seek to follow me. They are like a roadmap for living a blessed life, even in the midst of a challenging world. When I spoke about being poor in spirit, I wasn't talking about lacking material wealth. I was talking about humility, about recognizing your need for me. It's about coming to me with an open heart, knowing that I am the source of all true fulfillment and joy. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This is a reminder that it's okay to grieve, to feel sadness, and to experience loss. But even in your darkest moments, I am there, wrapping you in my loving embrace and offering you comfort that surpasses all understanding. When I spoke about the meek inheriting the earth, I wasn't talking about weakness. I was talking about gentleness, about humility, about choosing to put others before yourself. It's about living with kindness and compassion, even in a world that sometimes values strength and power above all else. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. This is a call to seek justice, to stand up for what is right, and to strive for righteousness in all areas of your life. It's about living with integrity and authenticity, even when it's not easy. When I spoke about showing mercy, I was talking about forgiveness, about extending grace to others even when they don't deserve it. It's about letting go of resentment and choosing to love instead. For in showing mercy, you mirror the boundless compassion I have for each and every one of you. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. This is a reminder to keep your heart focused on what truly matters. On love, on truth, on righteousness. It's about living with sincerity and honesty, seeking to align your heart with mine in all things. When I spoke about being a peacemaker, I was talking about reconciliation, about bridging divides and building unity. It's about being an instrument of peace in a world that often seems fractured and divided. And finally, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This is a reminder that following me isn't always easy, it may bring hardship, it may bring opposition, but it also brings the promise of eternal life with me. So, my dear friend, as you journey through life, let these Beatitudes be your guide. Let them shape your character, inform your decisions, and inspire your actions. For in living the Beatitudes, you'll discover the truest expression of what it means to be my disciple. Remember, I am with you always, guiding you, loving you, and cheering you on as you strive to live a life that reflects the beautiful teachings of the Beatitudes. You are cherished beyond measure, and I am so proud of the person you are becoming. A prayer. Jesus help me to live out the Beatitudes each day, and to be a beacon of your love and compassion in the world. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.